Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Stasis on the PC. And uh, last time we woke up on a ship that is apparently not the one we were on before we fell asleep. And uh, we were very injured, but we managed to get ourselves patched, patched up with the Doc Mate scanner over here. And some nanites and things like that. Um, and so now we're going to try to figure out what's going on, what happened here, and how to get back to our family. Um, including our lovely wife and our child that's voiced by an incompetent actor. Alright, so I was a little confused at the end of the last video, but Ren put a comment in saying that what I apparently need to do is get the drill off of this robotic surgeon. And I guess it makes sense because the drill is pretty good at, you know, drilling things, which is, I guess, what I need to do. So, we have... We can try the towel on it, although I doubt it. I think that'll just break it. Yeah, he's worried about breaking the towel, so we don't want to do that. The glass? I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, so, yes, we're in a tricky spot. Um... Hold on. So let's go back to the breaker box. Right now, the dockmate scanner is... Well, I guess nothing's active right now. Okay, so I don't know if that actually helps us though. Be this being online, because that just <clears throat> we needed to get online to extend it, but now that it's extended, I think that's the extent of it. He gives no indication or anything of why it retracts or anything like that, you know, like he just You click on it once and it does nothing and you click on it again. And it's like, oh, okay The mechanism that holds the neural drill in place is unlocked and open can I like drag and drop it like I want to grab it It's unlocked and open why can't I just pick it up? But no, you will not pick it up. You are unworthy. <clears throat> I mean, maybe I need something to replace it? As in I need another tool to replace the neural drill, otherwise I can't take it off? It could be true. I guess we'll poke around a bit more, maybe we'll find something. But it's going to be one of those things, I guess, where I kind of just drag my cursor around. Hello? Yeah. And I hope I find something. Like, I found the shard of glass last time. I think there's something there, but that's probably just part of the uh, of the terrain as far as I can tell this room is entirely void of anything so we can just dismiss it it's just like yeah do this for a while see what happens okay John just just breathe just stay calm and breathe. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna assume there's nothing left here. There could be more in the bathroom, maybe, but. <clears throat> Crazy. 
We can turn on all the sinks. Yep, that's what's happening. And that's pretty much everything. So there's nothing here to do anything about. And the one one of the things in the, the infirmary is, was life support that I could turn on, but I wasn't it wasn't clear on what that actually did. Come on, old man. He's just too weak. Oh, <laughs> you have to try it three times. Go. Oh my god. Alright. Well, that's something. Where was the hint on that one, Ren? Okay, so now we have done something with the pressure, which could be good. It's a little unclear what I did. Um, I don't think... No, that's ridiculous. I mean, I, I'm glad I did something. I always like that, but... There's this pressure regulation chart, but I can't read it. So did that increase pressure, or did that reduce pressure? Hell if I know. Do I want to go back in the bathroom? Are, like, the toilets just going to blast out of there? It's going to be like the Goonies or something? No, it seems to be about exactly the same. So what did I exactly do... Hmm. Questions, questions, without answers. We asked customers what they thought about Kane Corporation's Jupicola. I love Jupicola. Um. Yes, go back. I want to find out what the life support does, but it could be nothing. Very easily could be nothing. Go this way again. There's the fans, but the alarm lights. That's about it for that. I think I'm pretty sure I tried to use the towel on this stuff. Mm. And he does not want to do that. Yep. Okay, there's there's nothing here. Unless maybe I turn life support back on. But why would that be in in the infirmary? I don't know what the shard of glass is useful for. Probably he won't use the shard of glass on the towel. I have a syringe. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I need more no. drugs. Hmm. This room seems to be pretty much entirely useless. Hmm. He doesn't want to use the shard idea. of glass on anything. Get back and see life 
support active. Okay, so now life support is active. Which... It's not, it's not in this room, right? It's something different. I guess we try and go back. I know I'm really reaching. I have no idea what to do, which is a very common thing with adventure games. Because it never, well, I mean, it rarely seems logical, you know? It's always just some magical thing that needs to happen and never happens. Because I'm dumb. Okay, so I activated power to life support, but not a damn thing in here changed, so I assume this is not life support. This is cryostasis, which is different. That is powered, obviously, otherwise I would have died. So, but I did get kicked out of it for some reason. I don't know what life support refers to. We can go back to the product check-in terminal, but there's nothing there. Yeah. There's nothing. Oh, powered down robotic arm. Can I get this? No, I mean, I can't take it. Will he do anything with it? What if I use the towel on it? I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah, what were you thinking? Mm. He can touch very few things in life. This I am aware of. I mean, Ren gave me a hint. I mean, I kind of want to assume he knows what he's doing. Oh, okay. Yes, I just had a, I just had a sudden thought that since there's no power to this, maybe it will just stay out while I can grab it. But why would they give you no indication about this, you know? Like, literally, that saves people a lot of thought and time if John was just like, Oh, it retracts every time I try to grab it. You know, I mean, I guess, yeah, I could have kind of figured that out. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I, sure, I'm stupid. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So now I have the neural drill, which is good. And I have some, I've done something with the pressure, which is good. So maybe I can drill into one of these fluid tanks? I don't know. Yes, do it. Attention. System rebooted. Air scrubbers activated. Oh, finally, some good news. See, we figure everything out eventually. Okay, so now we should be able to go down the freight elevator. Sure enough, let's do it. Peace Storage 1, Peace Storage 2, Service Lobby 1, Service Lobby 2. And this is probably Peace Storage 3. Might as well be methodical. As we apparently go down like nine floors. Attention, product storage two. Access to product storage two is denied until further notice. Okay, and 
there doesn't appear to be anything I can click on so I'm not gonna waste time we will go to product storage 3 as it as it kinda takes a while oh it is completely it's gone it is gone alright service lobby one it is so maybe when I go past this mysterious floor I'll just die I just empty out into space. Attention, service platform one. Please check in with the duty officer before engaging with any. What were they doing here? Smeared blood makes it impossible to see into the room beyond. And we got body bags and a corpse. It looks like children. The outline of a child can be seen in the body bag. Okay, they're not uh, not pulling any punches. Are still working. Security holograms. Clara Daniels, general nurse. When Mike suggested I go and work in product storage, I honestly thought he was nuts. I mean, the pay is great and the hours are fantastic, but the job, well, I think it'll be boring. Apparently, the only time a nurse is ever needed is when they crack a stasis tube open, which Robert, the admin officer, said hardly ever happens. Nine times out of ten, they just take the pods directly to different projects. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to open one soon. Tomorrow, I actually get to do some work that doesn't involve monitoring vital signs. We're opening a pod for Dr. Isaacs in Project Kitchen Knife. They said they needed a specimen who was fully awake. These pods are filled with prisoners and drifters. They had their chance at a productive life and ruined it all. Yesterday was much harder than I'd imagined. When we opened the pod, the woman inside had no idea where she was. I'm aware that long-term stasis can cause disorientation, but she kept screaming for her husband, saying they were on their way to holiday on Europa. The doctor quickly sedated her and gave her a vocal cord numbing agent to stop the screaming. I mean, she was obviously lying about being a holiday maker, and these drifters will say anything to get out of this situation. We got another two products in this morning, transfers from a penal colony on Earth. I asked to have a look at their files, hoping they would make this a little easier, but I was told that all records are sealed. I had to delete the last few logs, I read them over again, but they were just too painful. I can still hear the crying of the last man we thought out. He didn't even scream. He sat on the bed crying until the doctors came in. They tagged him and took him down to the labs. He didn't even scream. Yesterday we opened a pod with a ten-year-old boy in it. There must have been some sort of mistake. Even if he was a drifter, he's a child. His name is Neil. He's in rehabilitation downstairs. I asked to go and visit him, but was told that it would be easier for me if I just let things be. I went out of product storage. I requested a transfer to the biomes. I think hydroponics will cheer me up. The pay isn't as good, but at least I'll be able to sleep at night. I heard the department heads talking about getting something from product storage. They already have four unopened stasis pods in the lab, but they're looking for a subject that can respond immediately. This isn't right. They're using products from product storage, too. I thought this was just a hydroponics bay. What the hell would they need human specimens for? Sarah told me that there are more children in the rehabilitation centers under product storage. I'm going there tonight. These security lockdowns have been happening more frequently. I'm going to use them to my advantage. Tomorrow I'm going to get those kids out of here. I'm leaving these entries on this PDA so that if I disappear you'll know what happened. Whoever's reading this, you need to help. Please, help those children. Okay. So, we have a, a, a company, I guess, that is uh, abducting random people and claiming that they're drifters and criminals in order to do experiments on them, including children. So, they are evil! I could do something like this. Oh, God. I need to get to Rebecca. Yeah. She's long gone. Sorry. I'm so, so sorry. We gotta open all of them. Look for loot. 
Give me the loot. Is that some loot? Give me that. What did I get? What did I get? I got an electric electronic toe tag. I took the guy's toe tag. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be needing this pretty soon. Give me that. Okay, there was... Okay, I thought I saw a hand pop up. See that? Or maybe it's just kind of meshing with the text when I do this. No, I saw it again. It's like... There! Okay, so that's just if you want to reread that. I don't know why they made it so difficult, but okay. Biometric access door requires a handprint to unlock it. Attention. Biometric handprint not recognized. The mortuary requires level 5 security access. Am I going to have to cut off this lady's hand? Mm, probably not a good idea. No. Can I use the toe tag? Although it's I not a handprint. It. I can cut off the hand of this kid, but... Hmm. Maybe. No. No, that won't work. No, okay. So, alright, we'll assume that was it for now. We got a toe tag for whatever purpose. And we got some lore! kind of reminds me of Pandorum, which is probably something I should recommend officially. It's a good movie. It's just getting colder. We gotta get the heat on. <laughs> John's not gonna respond. F that. Flickering light highlights scratches on the elevator door. Some of those scratches look like they were made by bare nails across the paint. Okay. We remind you that this is a non-smoking platform. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the laboratory smoke detectors. Please have your PDT hard copy identification ready. Mandatory scans are to be enforced. <laughs> Okay, so they knocked the, the first time, not the second time. Oh, here we go. Oh. Holy mother. Get it together, John. Oh, Yuri's making some sounds. Rerouting radio signal through cloud suit. Uh, uh, hello? Is anyone there? Who is this? Identify yourself. My, um, my, my name is, is John Mar Marachek. Uh, I'm... John? How did... Never mind. Is Yuri there? Uh, I'm sorry. He's been... He's dead. Shit. Listen to me, John. No, wait. Who are you? My name is Pear Hensley. I'm a botanist in hydroponics. I know you have questions, but right now, you need to get to the trap. I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me what the hell is going on. I just think Yuri is still there. Get to the trap and I'll tell you everything. It's a lot of blood, man. Yuri Leonov, botanist. Okay. Well, let's follow the blood trail. Oh, see that? It was scary. Super scary. So scary! Do not move. Attention. Tram terminal access will be granted once biological containment protocols have completed. Tell me where I am. Wait, aren't you a crew member? A crew member? Oh, I don't know how I got to this place. 
What's the last thing you recall? Uh, my, my wife and daughter, we, we, we were on our way to Titan. And then I woke up here. That's it. I can't remember anything else. I heard rumors of Kane Corporation hijacking civilian transports and bringing them here. Where is here? The Groom Lake. It's a medical research ship. But Kane, why would they need a ship for research? They have dozens of facilities. Human experimentation. Fringe studies. Here, like a groom, well, anything. What? My wife, my daughter. I need to find them. Now. I'll help you, John. But first you need to get to the tram. Get moving. Okay. Warning. Biological scans are inconclusive. All right. Well, would you look at this? Tram is powered down. Oh, the tram looks dark. It's got no power. Take a look around. There must be a way to get it up and running. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll see what I can find. Tram's offer of ample seating feels perverse at the moment. <laughs> okay. That's not helping anything. We could cut open the seating, but he doesn't want to break his... A shard of glass. Very protective of that. Spinning extraction fan. So what are the odds that at some point something jumps out at us during the course of this game? I'm betting 98%. Recharge tram. Charging system inactive. Switch tram line. Tram cannot change track, so power levels are below 60%. Okay. Then we need to find a way to get this charging, don't we? I have a drill. You want to drill it? God, that was actually correct? Oh, man. No. <sighs> what about the shard of glass? Is he worried hmm. about it? No. Maybe. No. He absolutely took out the drill, though. And that is nuts. Damn! That's not gonna work. Okay, so it's it's got a metal lock. You'd think the drill would work. Nothing else is gonna work. To get a to get a lock open. Hmm. Nothing here. I can sit down, I guess. Or can't I? No, he won't he won't sit down. I can't see it working like that. That's exactly how things work. Okay, did I miss something then to get the lock open? Did Did Yuri have a key? No. No. I mean, I'm really hoping I don't have to go all the way up to some other floor and figure out what's going on.
Hmm. I can drill the, the dead body. Hmm. He thought about it. He definitely thought about it. <coughs> oh, my Jeez. Wow. Wow. We actually... I'm on a roll. We used the shard of glass finally. Okay, so now that I have that, we can go back up and I can go in there and we can do some. So we're not getting on the tram for a little while. Sorry. Elevator music. It's great. Severed hand. Oh boy. So what if I hadn't checked this out and seen that I needed a hand? And I used the shard of glass on the dead body. And what he would just be like, well, I probably need a hand at some point. So here we go. Access granted. Welcome, Yuri Linov. The morgue. Ooh, the morgue. It is cold. It's cold. What is? The mortuary. I think it's supposed to be cold. Not this cold. Discarded autopsy reports. Uh, Aubrey Henderson, suicide. Body was discovered in the crew quarter bathrooms. Arms, arms had been cut from wrist to elbow. She bled out in seconds. Next of kin will not be notified until the end of her contract. Parent suicide arms were cut from wrist to elbow. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is an employee, I guess. Not be notified until the end of her contract. Jeez. Who requested an autopsy then? Why? Thomas Rovaska? Rovahaka? I think, it, I don't know. Uh, part of Project Snow. Compound fractures along left femur, hairline fractures along left tibia and fibula, dislodged clavicle on both sides, orbital and nasal cavity shattered from penetration of crowbar through skull. Several unknown growths present. Assumption is from external sources. So somebody put a crowbar through his face. Jesus. And Jane Doe, body found in pieces very badly. Something, stomach content contained something. John doesn't want to know, really want to look at it. But it's found in pieces, and her name is unknown. Okay, and apparently I ran over there. Ice store, portal, the furnace. A series of interlocking teeth are wrapped around the mechanical wheels. Okay, and that's why he won't. Use the towel. Oh my god, that was right. I'm on a roll. What? But I used the towel. The wet towel is wound tightly into the cog mechanism. That means I did it correctly. Okay, use the neural drill. Mm. No. So that's what the towel is for, but the furnace still doesn't do shit. What else am I going to use? Toe tag? The drill didn't work. I think that'll just break it. See, he doesn't want to break it. It's important. Mm. But that excites him. 
That's just crazy. Although, what does that mean? The toe tag? Oh, because you're putting a body into it, so you need the toe. Oh, okay. Warning. Temperature increasing to dangerous levels. Move away from that. Whoa, you can die. Alright, see, we had to find out some way. That was probably the lamest way to find out. But, there you go. We, you can die. What is the mortuary? supposed to be called. That might be the first time you can actually even. Like, even it's possible to die. Uh, which makes sense because I probably would have found out another way to die before now. Okay, so we do actually want to flee. Go back in. Oh god. Hey, there's that crowbar. Oh god. Alright, calm down, John. Jesus. There we go, we got a crowbar. But keep your eyes on the end goal. Your family. We need you. Once human shape of the cadaver now resembles a lump of decaying meat. Okay. Put the crowbar back in him. No. But it lets me... It wants a hand. Needle? No. Okay. Oh. Well. The, uh, the crowbar will help me break open the lock. So we got what we came for. I don't know why this is all clickable, but... Alrighty then. So far, not so scary. But maybe once we get on the tram, things will things will heat up. So once I get this tram working, where do I go? Your best bet is to find the medical access terminal. The medical wing is on that tram line, so it should be a quick ride. Thank you, Tia. And, um, I'm sorry about your friend. Just be safe. I don't know why we're trusting this chick, but we don't really have a choice, I guess. No, you know, I like the environments, how they look and everything. I, I mean, it looks... It looks good. I don't like how John looks, though. He, like, he looks naked. And it's just... The model is just not very good. Tramline Breaker. Okay, we just gotta swap this, maybe? Click on it. No. Open this up. Okay, maybe I just use it on the box. There we go. Recharge. <laughs> That's one. Okay, the tram's powered. I see it. Give me a second. I'm setting your destination to the medical wing. Alright, so now go back in here, we grab this, and then we use it on this. Now if we 
go here. We should be able to be on our way. Punch it. Okay, maybe I need to switch the trams. <sighs> okay, well, once we go here and we come back, we'll be on our way. Okay, we'll be on our way. It is a it is a slower pace game than you know, like uh, Outlast or whatever, something like that. Here we go. That's probably going to bring some attention to me. It's loading. I mean that's a good way to It's a good way to kill yourself, to be honest. Look at all the like rocks and rebar and shit like that. Really? You don't have any alternative from just jumping? Use a crowbar. <laughs> Use the crowbar to do something. Okay, well. Together. 
First things first. Who the hell am I? We're in uh, we're in a rough place. But all right, that is where we'll pick it up next time. It is a slow burning game, but I imagine we're gonna discover some. There's there's shit aboard this ship that we don't really want to encounter, but I'm sure we will. And uh, speed run tactics we are not using. That's that's for sure. But my name is Mang. A game you've been watching is Stasis. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.